Hi guys, welcome back to Craft the World and let's see where we were. I think we should start on illuminating. Yes, this one we definitely need to complete so we can make better beds. And from this it's a very small step to this. And this is a really nice bed to have until we get the last beds. But as you can see they're way out here. And the thing we really want to make is a miner's lamp. And the miner's lamp is for our miner. We don't have a miner. I think. I'm not sure. Oh wait, these are wrong. This is not the miner's lamp. This is just the lamp you can use downstairs. But this one, the portable lamp, is the one we're looking for, for a mining dwarf. So we're gonna make that. And another thing we want are wall lamps, because they're really, uh, they give comfort level to our home. And the higher the comfort, the happier the dwarves. So I'm going to use the rest of my oil to craft some of those. And as you can see, we're almost there with the uh, advanced illuminating. But I need more oil. And I need more bottles. Ooh. Four more bottles. That leaves me a bit of coal. And with the bottles I have, I'll start making some oil. There we go. All nice. Oh, they're so busy. I need a second pork bench, I think. Maybe I have one because I... Oh, <laughs> one. I have four. Oh wow, I probably picked them up from uh, the Goblin Invasion. And we're gonna put up these nice wall lamps and remove the torches so we can play stuff. For example, this workbench. Is that a good spot? Let's see. That's a better spot. And I try to get like two of every workstation. Hey, you are not very... Oh, you don't have a bed. Of course you don't have a bed. How are these oils coming along? Because if we got some, we can make these lightning stands. Four will do for now. Oh, I haven't made any yet. Gotta give it time. And speaking of time, let's level up. Uh, let's uh, speed up a bit. We did it! We did it! Give me two of those beds. And for now we'll just place them along here. Until we got something up here that's worthy for them to sleep in. And what we can do is with our last goblin invasion we got more loot so let's deck out our dwarves a bit more and this one is just unlucky Leo, where's Leo? This is Leo. 
You got a bed now, man. Go rest. Oh, and of course, do we have a miner? No. Mage, swimmer. Yeah, we do. We do. Here, have your portable lamp. And anything we can give to anybody? No. But I do know we can make some more stuff we didn't in the last time. This stuff. And this should be easy enough because these materials I got. And I know I have three swimmers. So I'll just make four. It's good for our fishing as you can see. Go fish by the way. And now they're doubling the effort in making all these arrows and stuff we ordered them to do. Our new guy finally has a bed he can sleep in. And we're fishing! Yay! Here he comes. Gotcha. And probably a new fishy will spawn, yeah. There will always be two fishies and the moment they catch one, a new one will spawn in here. Or maybe one will spawn when I... Ah! There we go. And I can actually give another fishing command. And we're getting close to a new monster wave. But that should be fine. Ooh, this is ugly. That is ugly. We cannot leave it like that. Uh, give me those. There we go. Oh, and we can put our lights up. I still have a trap there. Kill him. Get some water. And uh, my apologies if you hear the washing machine in the background. But my boyfriend is doing some grocery shopping, so I thought I'd better jump in and get some recording then. Yesterday was not gonna happen, so... Oh, this is so cool. Now, let us see... Um, we can at least, by the looks of it, just expand that. I know this upper one should be good, but I'll wait a bit until they clear that out. And to help them, I'll build a portal. <coughs> Ooh, lightning stand, nice. What do we need for this? What we can make are some wooden bridges. Because those are always handy. We probably already have some. Because we picked them up. Ah, oh, we have two. That's okay. We'll make some and get this beam going a bit. <gasps> we can craft steel. We don't have coal or iron. And we can get some pots, should we have them. Oh, this is nice. 
we can do some furniture which will make the dwarves more happy and happy dwarves are healthy dwarves Take that away as well. And let's get this coal from here. Ooh, that is nice. That one had iron in the background. So when our miner is mining, he gets better at it. And once our dwarves are better equipped, at least when they have some steel stuff on, we can start giving them books and make sure that everybody is at least a miner or a logger. Or a, a fisher, that could also be okay. And they need one sort of uh, weaponry, so either they'll be a mage, or they'll be warrior, or uh, archer. Maybe go down a bit. Get some better goodies. And I'll also give the order to keep gathering some wood. And let's have someone fishing. Mix greens. I can't eat this anymore. Oh, I'll get you some better food then. Ooh, how many coal? We picked up some coal. Now, I don't want to uh, start spending all our coal on eggs and stuff. But I do gotta get them some different food. I might? Yes, I might. And I noticed before I clicked them away that our chairs were done. So let's see. Put up a chair there. And we'll put up a chair there. Yeah. And that raises the average comfort level. Now I gotta see, because last time I logged in, this appeared to be two houses. But by the looks of it, it is now correct, it's one big house with two totems. So relogging should totally help. Let me see, one, two, three. If I'm smart, because I want five in between, I'll just go out the other three and then head down and then we'll go a few more floors. But for now, I see we have our stuff, our Chukumo Monster Wave. So everybody's going to rest.
And if they don't need a rest, they'll hop in bed and hop out immediately. Like that one. Here they go. Yeah, break that down. That's there for a reason. And as you can see, it does do a little damage to them. Not a whole lot. Especially when there are that many. It doesn't hurt this one. Oh. It did hurt the other ones a bit. Chupi, pointy sticks. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot. It didn't kill any of them. But this should trap some. Yeah, go kill. Go kill, guys. Guys. Ah, now they're dying. Now they are dying. Good. And they should be able, even despite this uh, bad armor, to handle this one. And that one should be the last. Should be the last? Yes! Hooray! We did it! Good job! Why are you not attacking that one? Ooh, and there's a lot of water on the roof. Oh. Ah. Well, we got some water out of that. And I also gave the order, oops, which they did, to chop a bit. Now this is scary because I cannot see here, so I'll give the order, but I'll also keep an eye out. Ooh, what's that? There is a cave here, but it looks like I'm not hitting it. Ooh, nice. Apparently we got a lot of coal. Check out this cave. A lot of beasties. And the cave going further down to nothing, to silver and gold. Nice. But this looks okay, so. One. No, this one doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't need this one. Oh. Because. Two, three, four, five. We're going down here. Uh. 
they have no respect for each other. And we'll put some torches up. And we'll cover this water. And we can get this iron. And coal. New portals make it a bit easier. Oh, one of them BC spawned there, but that's okay actually because we can use some needles. Not a bad thing to have some extra needles. No, they really, unless your dwarf is almost dead, I don't think they'll do a lot of damage. As you can see, he does a little bit of damage on him but not enough to really notice or die from unless you're already dying <laughs> they do more damage from falling down And as you can see, we also get sand out of these blocks. Sometimes dirt, sometimes sand, sometimes both. It's really nice. And let's go down further, because my goal is to get an extra layer or something underneath here. And I will dig this out so they can kill this one and that one. And let us see, because I need some dirt there. One, two. <laughs> right there. I want dirt there. I want dirt there. And I have dead shots. Lights. Lights. My handy dandy scaffolding. Uh, I'll put it there. Uh, this is correct, yes. And we're gonna get this coal that's here, of course. Whoa, what was in the background? Iron, nice. Ooh. They don't have a portal. And 
And we need some lights in here. Some nice coal here. I want a torch there. This was, yeah, this is good. There's a little beastie there, but that's okay. And if I'm smart, I'm placing a torch here. I'll just dig this out. Torch there. This can go. That can go. Ooh, we need more torches. It's getting dark. And dark is not good. You're gonna fall. Oh, you're not gonna fall. It's nice. Miner is still going on all on his own. And this one has a torch, but then it hesitates and not sure why actually. So, we should have got that some material already. Let us see what are... Ooh, nice amount of bushes. Ew, you guys are hungry. I'm so sorry. Have some meat. Kill a sheep. Uh, 
we should craft something. And uh, let us see, shingled roofs. And um, we'll probably use them uh, a lot later in game. But we can craft some. Oh, 51 coal, that's good. So we're almost there. And we can craft. Where is it? One more thing. A round window. And I think we should be there then. Once they got it made, that is. Nice. Until my turn. Yes, we are there. Very, very nice. Now, as you can see, it did bring over, open this one, but we cannot use this one until we are done with this one. And we, of course, need to do this one as well. So, let's get some pots made. Four should do. Four should do. Very cool. Now. With clay we can also make some bricks. And with bricks we can make awesome backdrops later. So I don't mind making a lot of bricks. We can craft some dye. Which shouldn't be a problem at all. Eight. Aren't we there? I think we are there. But what I'm gonna order is for some steel because we're gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of steel until the end of the game. So go make it, guys. You can do it. And I'll make some paper. Oh, we got some paper. I'll make some fabric. Oh wow! Yay! Cool! We can make the comfortable beds! I'm gonna make four and we'll replace some of these leaf beds. Yay, this is so cool. And next time we'll we'll party it up a bit. We'll get some decorating in there. And I see we got the Venetian stucco, uh, which I sort of want to have behind here. It's going to look awesome and we're going to need loads of it. And we'll do some furnishing, I guess. Get some flowers and chairs and nicer stuff in here. Make it worse, a bit more happy. So that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.